Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse here and <clears throat> I've had a few people ask just kind of curious about my new uh, gaming rig tower and so this is kind of a hardware review overview of what I've got. People wanted to see kind of what it looked like um, so here we go. This is not a pre-built computer like I tried uh, last year when the video card prices were extremely high and we all know how that uh, disaster ended up. That computer is long gone. Um, I've got my old computer that I've been using for years down here to my left. Um, but this is the new rig. Uh, I got it built, custom built through Micro Center. And I gotta say, uh, my experience with them has been really quite good. Um, had a very helpful representative. Um, once we finalized everything and once I figured out my video card that I needed, um, I mean, by the time I, like, I, I was able to actually pay for the machine over the phone and literally within like two days, I mean, this is over a weekend even, they're like, yeah, the machine is done, it's built, um, it's ready for you and you can come pick it up. And so I had a coworker of mine help me, um get to the store and bring it home because this is a big boy this is a beast um it's a pretty much it's a full tower here um spec wise so before actually before i go into the specs one of the reasons i went with micro center i know um like i said if you're going for a high-end gaming pc or you want something really customized pre-builds i don't think are really the way to go you know, you can get by with a pre-built, you know, of course, laptops are mostly pre-built. Um, but like desktops, if, you, if you're if you just doing office work and whatever, sure, that's fine. Um, you're, you're probably okay. But if you start putting high-end parts like gaming video cards and things like that in there, I would definitely recommend either doing a custom build yourself or going through like a local computer shop or something like a micro center or something to really have it custom built because so many of these big pre-built manufacturers, they really go and they skimp on the parts. Like, oh, they'll give you your RTX 4080 or 3080 or whatever you're looking for, but they'll often skimp on things like your quality or brand of RAM. It may be proprietary. Um, they'll skimp on the cooling. They will just put the minimum air cooling or whatever in there, um, your power supply. Yeah, it might meet the minimum spec, but God forbid, you know, you put anything else that, you know, beyond the video card or beyond like your video card and CPU motherboard in there, um, you know, you get a power spike or something and your power supply, your power supply is uh, not going to hold up to that. And I'm, I think that's really a combination of why that HP machine that I had was such a disaster is they just really skimped on the power supply and the cooling because, and even the case that they choose, it might be like a more, oh, it's a compact case. It looks nice and it's smaller and yeah, all that. But look at how big these video cards are. They're freaking huge now. You need ventilation. You need room in your case for them to breathe uh, you need adequate air or liquid cooling. Um, so that is why I went with a custom build. So what we got here, and I don't remember all the exact um, case, but I mean, roughly spec, as long as you, you know, get kind of what you're looking for, go for name brands or go for, you know, quality items, highly rated items, you should be fine. Um... But I've basically got this full tower case here. And one thing that I like about it is you can kind of hear as I rub my finger on the front of the case here. Uh, it's like a, and I'll show you the front of it from another angle here in a moment, but um, it's got this ventilate, it's got full ventilation all up the tower. There's three giant fans in the front and it's kind of like this mesh uh, grating on the front so air can get in, especially like when I'm playing a game, I'll reach over and just see, you know, if I hear the fans kicking up at all and I touch it over here and it's like, it's still like either cool to ice cold. So 
it's doing a good job of cooling. Um, same thing on the top. Like if I get up here, hey buddy, I got my cool little uh, bunger. <laughs> I had to get that plushie. He's kind of guarding the top of my rig here. Um, but we got a mesh up here, so there's plenty of breathing room for air to flow through the case. Uh, we got our clear, um, we got our clear sides you can kind of see in there, and it looks pretty clean, you know. Um, I didn't put too much in there. Um, there's plenty of room um, for air. There's plenty of room should I ever need to like put something else in there. But specs wise. Um, I have, I, the two things that I've learned personally over the years, and everyone has a different opinion, um, I go with an Intel NVIDIA combo. Uh, I've tried, I've had two AMD machines in the past, and they were okay for what they were. They, they ran well, but I've always had weird, like, there's always been some oddity with every AMD machine that I've built or that I've built or had built. Um, like one of them, I literally, I could use the USB ports, but for whatever reason, it just would not, could not recognize a thumb drive. And I don't know why I could pull, plug in like a scanner, a printer. Um, but it was just, I couldn't do it. Um, I, I forget what the other quirk with the other machine was, but there's always just something that doesn't quite work right. And it was just frustrating. And I've never really had that problem with Intel machines. They've just worked. They've been fine. I don't care about getting every little like, oh, this might get, you know, two more frames per second, or this might load like an eighth of a second faster. Like who cares? As long as it runs good, as long as it's fast, as long as it's stable, I don't really care. Yes, I want it to run fast. I want it to run quiet. I want it to run well. But I'm not going to pour over dozens of charts and graphs. I, I'm not that guy. I don't care. Just run good, run stable. I'm happy. Um, so I've got a Core i7. And same with NVIDIA. I've tried ATI cards um, back in the day. I know they're AMD now. Um, but the same thing, like they have cutting edge features, but I've found their drivers to be lacking sometimes. Like when they work, they're great, but God, I've had some awful trouble with, uh, ATI graphics cards and, 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 and that line. So anyway, um, what I got here is a core I seven, uh, 13th gen. So it's basically your latest gen right now. Um, so core I seven. I've got um, 64 gigabytes of memory, so we're pretty good on there, especially some of these a uh, couple recent games that have been super greedy and like, yeah, you're going to need uh, 32 gigabytes if you want to run this sucker on high or on ultra. I'm like, man, that's a little greedy, isn't it? Um, so I've got 32 gigs, or I got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, this thing flies. I have an RTX 40 70 and this is a triple fan uh model because there's no um there's no reference card there's no straight up nvidia card for the 4070 um so i just got a you know this three fan model and it's working great um and yeah the 4070 is still rather expensive but as i've said in many other videos that's why i waited so long this past fall or this winter because as much as I wanted the 4080, no, we're not paying 1300 bucks, 1500 bucks for a freaking video card. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not gonna pay that. So I've got my 4070, I'm very happy with it. Um, it's running everything that I want to, I mean, everything, I load a game and it's like, oh yeah, well, you can load that on Ultra or whatever. So, I mean, for now, for this current generation, should be fine. Um, storage is also another important aspect. If you're going to run games at all, you definitely want to have an SSD. So, I have two SSDs in here. I have a primary SSD. It is an MVME drive, which is faster. Um, but it's actually even a, like it's a higher speed rated um, SSD 
So that is my primary drive. And really all I put on there is Windows. I've got Office on there. I've got a couple other basic, like, you know, work programs, maintenance programs. You know, I put like Zoom and Teams or whatever on there if I need them, need to use them for something. <clears throat> um, but I really don't put much on there. Um, cause that's just my, like if something goes bad and I need to re, you know, reformat windows or something, I don't lose anything really. I have a second two terabyte SSD. I wanted a four, but oof, they were really expensive. And this machine build was expensive as it is. Um, but I did get a two terabyte SSD or MVME SSD drive it's a little bit slower than the one terabyte, um, but it's still really fast. And that is where I put all my games. I've got Epic on there. I've got Steam on there. And that's pretty much what I'm rolling with right now. And because it was dirt cheap, I threw in a um, four terabyte spinny drive. So your regular 7200 RPM spinny drive. And that's for the data. That's where I, you know, where I dump videos as I record them before I upload them. Um, you know, that's where I have my documents and accessibility stuff work and everything. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the build. Um, I really don't have many frills. Um, there's no optical drive in there. I figured pff, why I can just use a USB drive for the rare times I get, um, or the rare times I need, uh, a drive. And I haven't even tried it yet, but I did pick one up here. Here's a little box. I got a little, um, I don't know, I got a little optical drive here. So if I need one, I've got a, I've got a USB one. Um, yeah, so we're set there. I didn't get a capture card or anything like that because I just haven't kept up on that. Um, most of what I cover, like I said, is going to be PC. Xbox, actually, the Xbox Series S streams to the computer pretty well. Um, so I really don't have a whole lot of input lag and it generally, once it's connected, it works fine. So I can record that way. The PS5 actually streams to the system fairly well as, uh, too. I do notice a little bit more input lag. So like, I'm not as likely to, you know, stream a full game or do a lot with the PS5. You know, I'll cover some spotlight videos for accessible content and everything or a game that'll stand out. But, um, I mean, it works for what I need it for. And like I said, this build, because I, I'm, not a, I'm not a guy who is going to, you know, have a machine built or build a machine and just keep poking at it, keep upgrading parts every year or two and keep modifying it. I'm like, you know what? Build me a super high-end rig. I'm going to set it here. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to use it. And we're going to use this sucker until it just really can't do what it needs to do anymore. I mean... That other machine that I've been using forever, I got that in 2015. It's now 2023. Uh, he's lived a pretty good life. That 980 is just not quite doing it anymore. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping this lasts at least five years. Um, and uh, that is really the machine that I built. Um, the case, like I said, you've got the ventilation. Um, you've got plenty of uh, cooling room. You've got room for expansion. As far as ports go, you know, like I said, the other thing you want to look at for your case is you want to look at your ports because I wanted four because my old, the thing I loved about my old machine is it had four. I only have three on the front of this guy. Now I could get a power USB hub, which I might, um, but I've got a thumb drive that I often use for some stuff, especially through work. And then I have, on the front, I have my little USB dongle for my headset, uh, my Turtle Beach headset, which I will also be doing a hardware review of very shortly. And um, so, yeah, those unfortunately take up my two USB-A ports on the front, but then I have a USB-C port on the other side of where my thumb drive is here. So those are the ports that I have on the front. I've got, oh, yeah, and I was going to show you the front of the... Let's just walk around the table here. And you can take a look at the... There we go. Give me a moment. Yoink. There we go. All right. So, 
yeah, here is the front of the case. You got your three glowy fans right there. And they are bright. They're these LED fans. That's the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet is there wasn't, there didn't seem to be any Windows utility installed when they set it up. And I know you can usually change like the color, the intensity, um, I think even whether they're on or off, like the, the colors, um, I like them on, like, don't get me wrong. I like them, but like when I'm using my computer <laughs> and it's totally dark in here, those fans are pretty dang bright. So I, I kind of wish there was a way to dim them a little bit, maybe set them to a specific color. I don't mind them rot I don't mind them alternating colors like that. You know, we're going from blue, green, you get red in there sometimes, but you see how it just kind of cycles through the colors. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but it, like if I had somebody stay overnight or something on my couch, crash on my couch for a night or something, um, <laughs> they're pretty close to the couch. So, um, they would have a beacon, uh, to look at all night. So yeah, I don't know if there is a windows utility or if you have to do it through the BIOS or whatever. I really don't want to play in there, especially since it's not really that accessible. But anyway, that is the machine. Like I said, I've got the USB ports on the front. I think I've got at least six, maybe more on the back. Um, I don't have too much hooked up so far. I really just got a keyboard, mouse. I've got a little charging thingy for my Qi charger down here for my phone. Um, and I've got a wired in the back because I'm sitting close to it anyway. It's just a USB-C cord that I can plug my Xbox uh, Elite controller into or a PS5 controller if I need to. Or if I want to charge these headphones here now that I've got. Um, so that's really about all I've got plugged in. That is a look at the system that I have built or that I had built for me um, through Micro Center. So if you have a Micro Center nearby you, um, they seem pretty good. Like I said, they have some, they, they do have some custom build, like kind of pre-built, like uh, their house brand. They're called Power Spec. You know, those are like, oh, you can get your high, medium, low end kind of a deal. But if you really want to go something custom, um, they can custom build something for you. You just work with the rep and they will, you know, send you exactly the parts. You know, they'll send you basically a parts list and um, you can kind of go from there. So, yeah, I mean, video card price gouging aside, um, <laughs> you know, with NVIDIA and everything these days, um, that is a look at my new gaming rig. I'm very happy with it so far. It's run extremely quiet overall. The only time I really hear the fan is usually when I start a game. It kind of must do some tests or something. And like, oh, let's see what your graphics card can do here. And you'll hear it kind of jet engine a little bit. But then it calms down a little bit. Uh, and then we're fine. So uh, I've run several games on it. Several high-end games. I've been playing a lot of Hogwarts Legacy. I've been playing some new uh, first-person shooters. Uh, Dead Space I've been working through, the remake here, so yeah, really happy. I'm ready for the flood of new releases. I'm ready for Starfield. I'm ready for The Last of Us coming to PC. I'm ready for uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, hopefully that will answer your guys' questions, give you guys a look at uh, what we have going on here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at bgfh79 twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegally cited.com and right here on youtube until next time we'll chat with everybody again later